Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, so on this video, I have for you four fresh and trendy ideas on how to decorate your home without spending a lot of money, but still keeping it very high end looking. And we are going to start here with this beautiful side table. It is very sturdy. I love how sturdy it is and I'm going to give it a brand new look. So I'm going to put them on these little rolling cards that I have. It just makes life easier when you are painting furniture. And I'm just going to place them here. And then the goal with this table is to paint it. And for the first time ever, guys, I am using regular latex paint. What? Yes, I am going to use regular household paint. You know that I love chalk paint. Chalk paint is my go-to paint for anything DIY, anything home decor. However, I want to give this a try. I know a lot of you have asked before why chalk paint, why not regular household paint. So we're going to give it a try. I went to the hardware store and I got a Bear brand paint in a beautiful green tone. Um, but first we got to prep it. So I did sand down the top just a little bit because it had some kind of like water stains and it was a little bit lifted. And then I removed the knobs that it had. And then I am going to give it one coat of Kills primer. And this is the stain blocking primer. This is just to make sure that latex paint is really going to stick to the side table. This side table had a weird light switch in the back of it. Not sure where it was connected, but we are going to remove that because it makes no sense to be in there. All right, friends, so here we are. This is the inside of the little cabinet and there's a little bit of damage here. I'm not overly concerned because I am going to resurface this little area or maybe even paint it, just the bottom. Um, but then we have that. <laughs> That's where that weird light like switch was at. I have no clue because it wasn't connected to anything inside. I thought maybe for a reason it would have had like maybe some lighting in here, but there wasn't. So I'm not sure about that. But nonetheless, I am going to have to figure it out. So we are going to start painting here. I am going to give uh, this first coat, um, just kind of giving it a, a smooth coat. However, first impression of the paint is I did not like it. I didn't like the brightness of the color. I did not like how runny the paint is. It's because I'm used to having a chalk paint. And it, chalk paint, it's thicker, it's creamier, and it has better coverage. So I guess I'm just used to chalk paint. So nonetheless, I am committed at this point. I'm just thinking, okay, let's just keep, keep going. Let's just see where this goes. But the first coat is always the roughest, even with chalk paints. Don't get me wrong. But it's just a little bit more rough with this latex paint and as you can see here it is just so stri like just striped and a lot of brush strokes and uh, but nonetheless we are going to keep painting until it is fully covered all right friends so here we are this is after three coats of the bare paint and I need to do another one. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah, you can see it right here. You can really see that it needs another one. So not loving the latex paint on it. However, the color is stunning. I really love the color. So let's keep going. All right guys, so I am out here in the garage and I am going to be spray painting these hardware. Now these knobs were actually the original ones that came with the with the side table, but these I actually recently got on Amazon. They're on the smaller side. 
for this DIY, for this uh, side table is perfect. So, but I actually got them for when I create home decor because it's small enough, but it's actually gonna work out. So I'm just gonna place it here on this box. I removed the screw, now I can stand them up and spray paint them there. So I'm gonna use Rust-Oleum Metallic Golden Tone and see how they look. So on to covering the bottom portion of the inside of the cabinet here. So this contact paper I get at Dollar Tree. You've probably seen them. I actually have used it several times and it's done very well for me. So I'm just going to start placing it. It's kind of uncomfortable to do this. If you've ever lined drawers or anything like this, shelves, it's pretty uncomfortable. So let alone having to film, <laughs> film it as well. So I'm trying to give you a little bit of uh, room there so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm basically just going to start at the back and work my way to the front. I am using the Cricut little scraper here just to help me with bubbles. Now this cabinet, the bottom of it, had a little lip right there. You see where I'm marking? That's where I'm going to cut because if I line the front of that lip, when the doors close and open, it's probably going to pull back and forth the contact paper. And I don't want that. I want it to look seamless. I want it to look professional and complete. So I'm just going to do that and then with my X-Acto knife, just pull, uh, make a cut and then pull it and that way it'll be a nice clean cut. Oh guys, I am not sure what I want to do with this and part here. So I contemplated covering the whole thing from the back, like removing the whole thing. However, this is such a hard quality piece of wood back here, even though it's thin, that I would hate to remove the whole thing. So then I thought, okay, well maybe I'll put some contact paper like this and then i was like no because then you're gonna feel it you know it's gonna be like uh, like wobbly there so that's not gonna be nice and good quality so what i decided to do then is i am going to cover from the front because the back you won't see it's gonna be towards you know towards the wall but if you open the doors then you'll be able to see it no matter if it's covered on the back so what i'm gonna do is i am going to cut a piece of wood this size in here and I'm going to place it right on top right you know on there and I'm gonna paint it the green color and that way it'll complement it so let's see I am using this piece of paneling that I got at the hardware store this is one of my scrap wood pieces from the hardware store if you follow me on Instagram I recently went and got more of these scrap wood so if you don't follow me on Instagram I ask that you consider doing so I do have it linked down below so I'm going to use my table saw there to cut it to size after I measured it. And I'm just going to sand it here lightly to remove any splinters. Actually, to remove all the splinters. It was filled with splinters. And then I'm going to give it two coats of the bare green paint. I'm going to have the paint linked down below if it interests you. Or the color, at least. The name of the color. All right, guys. So here we go. Moment of truth. God, I'm so nervous. All right, so it looks like it's fitting and oh my gosh is it gonna fit well i think it's a little snug but that's not a bad thing because i can always use my mallet to kind of push it in there and i think it's gonna work we'll see Guys, I am seriously <laughs> in shock if it's perfect. This never happens like this. Like this is truly one of those moments where I am so thankful because it fits snug enough where I don't even need to nail it at all with my brand nailer. I just hammered it or mallet it, I guess. And then I still have to mallet it just a little bit. But overall, And look how much better that looks you know without that hole and it matches the paint yes and to finish things off i'm just going to add the knobs and the handles and then we'll be done these are silver now so i have to paint them and 
I really don't want to take him out, like take him out and take him outside and spray paint him. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the spray paint that I use. I'm gonna spray just a whole bunch, like right here on this piece of paper, and then using a brush, I am going to dab and paint and see how that comes out. All right guys, so I did have to add two coats of this uh, brushed on spray paint, but it worked out perfectly. You can't even tell that I didn't spray paint them. So here's what the little cabinet or side table looked like before I gave it a new look. And this is what it looks like now. Oh, so beautiful. I love this green tone. Although I had to do four coats and I was not happy about that. The end result is stunning. Don't tell me this doesn't look like high-end. Oh, goodness, does it look high-end. Love, love, love it. And ladies and gentlemen, it was only $13. How cool is that? If you're visiting for the first time, guys, my name is Leon Epp, and this channel is all about DIY, home decor, furniture flips, thrift or finds. I'd love to connect with you here, join our family. I also have an Instagram account that I post daily, multiple times a day, different behind the scenes look. Also, I share like hauls that I do when I go to the thrift store or the hardware store, and I'd love to connect with you there. I do have the link down below in the description box. For this next DIY, I am going to take these four wood rounds that I recently got on Amazon. They're meant to create any decor you want, really. But I am going to make three table plate chargers. I've never made these ever, ever, ever. And I thought these would be a great size, great piece to add to our tablescape. Using my Cricut, I cut out the phrase, blessed are we. And I am going to stencil it using the same green bare paint and a makeup wedge sponge. And I also created two little kind of like branches style decals for each side of the phrase. Now I have all four chargers nicely done. Now I'm going to seal them because you don't want to have this wooden um, charger night bare. You want to be able to protect this. So I'm going to use some polyurethane. If you've never worked with polyurethane, you do want to stir instead of shake. That way you avoid as many bubbles as possible. I'm going to give it two coats and then I'm going to lightly sand all the chargers and then give it one more coat. That way it's going to be smooth and protected and if anything spills on it, it's going to be wipeable. Now that we are applying here the last coat, we are done. I'm so happy with the way these turned out. I love, love, love the way, the, the style. I love how simple yet chic and high-end it looks. And it could be used any time of the year. Think about it. It could be used in the summer. It can be used in Christmas because it has that green tone. I just love the way it turned out. My friends, don't forget that this month's giveaway is a crafting supplies tote bag, just the bag, and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is watch and comment, and any comments made in July of 2021 will be entered for this giveaway. For this next DIY, I am going to take this thrifted cabinet door that I got at Habitat from Humanity as well. It was only $1.99, and it's a pretty good size. 
I'm going to give it a good scrub because we are going to paint it using that same green. We're going to keep it in the same family here. Now, I want this sign to have a more of a chalkboard sign. And I know this is not chalk paint and I'm not meaning for it to look like chalk like a, or have the texture of a chalkboard. I just want it to look like it's chalkboard. And so I'm going to give it two coats of the bare green paint and let it fully dry. Then using my Cricut, I cut out the phrase, bless our home, and I added a little branch there to the side. Then I am going to apply it right in the center. I purposely made the stencil, or not the stencil, the decal, larger than what that center part is because I do want the decal to kind of overflow over the edged beveled area. Now this was a blessing and a curse all at once because... It looked beautiful when it was all said and done, but it did take me a while to make sure that the decal was pressed in between all the creases. And you're going to see here in a minute what I'm talking about. So I pressed on the center, avoiding all the edges. And then I started removing the transfer tape very slowly, section by section. I started here on the left hand side. And I'm just going to start pressing the decal that is kind of lifted. That's going to overlap that beveled area. And I'm just going to start pressing it slowly, section by section, to make sure it kind of takes the shape of the detail. That way, the entire thing just looks a little bit more finished and professional. I could have taken the easy way out and just made it the size of the center portion. But I just wanted it to have a little bit more of a wall factor. And I love the way it turned out. However... I think the decal, the vinyl that I used was not sticking very well at parts. So I still have to, to this day, to this moment, have to keep pressing on it. And I'm hoping that with time it does stick, but I may have to remove it and use a more permanent vinyl, although this one is supposed to be permanent. But nonetheless, I think it turned out super, super beautiful. I love it. All right, for this next DIY, guys, it is the easiest thing ever. This is a scrap piece of 2x4 that I got recently at the hardware store, and I'm going to cut it into 5 inches long. It's more like 4 and a half. Then I'm going to make three cuts, same size blocks. I'm going to sand off the edges to make sure all the splinters are smooth. And then I'm going to start painting them with the same green. This time around, however, I'm going to make it look more of a color wash technique. So I'm going to give it a very rough, very sloppy one coat of the paint here. Then I'm going to use a wet rag and I'm just going to remove the excess paint. That way you're going to be able to see a lot of the wood grain underneath. So it's going to be like a color wash. I decided to darken up a little bit, so I am going to heavily dry brush some paint on it and then let it dry. You're going to still see a lot of the wood grain, but it's just that I thought it was just a little bit too washed for my 
taste but you can certainly leave it as is and these are going to be little decor risers so I've been kind of obsessed with decor risers because I feel like it just makes life easier and it's just the possibilities are endless so I'm going to stack two of them together and then the other one I'm going to leave as is well look how beautiful this simple DIY is it would look great with any DIY room decor that you make and actually can be made in any color I really love the way it turned out so simple so easy and so high-end looking love it this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it inspires you to create your own diy room decor on a budget if you are visiting for the first time i hope you consider subscribing and joining our youtube family and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back i am going to have a playlist here and a video here i think you should watch it has tons of inspiration and i think you're going to love it so click this video here i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye